Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the quick yes or no answer for each zodiac sign. This is specific to the week of May 1st through May 7th. Again, this is May 1st through May 7th for 2022. And if at any point in time during this week you have a question <coughs> or something you would like additional guidance on, you can come to this video and get a quick yes or no answer. With that being said, I will also provide you the meaning of the tarot card, which may or may not resonate. Um, again, we're mostly focused on the yes or no, but I will give you some additional context to the card in case that helps you any. Um, if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me really greatly and you'll be notified when I post videos in the future. But with that being said, let's go and jump in and get started. We're looking at the week of May 1st through May 7th for 2022. We have Aries up first though. Let's take a look here. Aries, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is going to be a yes. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of luxury, self-sufficiency, financial gain, solo pleasures. The next card we have, or excuse me, next zodiac sign we have is Cancer. Cancer, you have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of secrets, mystery, intuition, trusting your intuition. This is going to coming through as a no for you, Cancer. Next zodiac sign we have is Gemini. Gemini, you have the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is going to be a no. This is a card of loss, regret, grief, feeling... Uh, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. Again, Gemini, that's no. Libra, you're up next. You have the Page of Wands. This is going to be a yes for you, Libra. The Page of Wands is very active. It's a new project or new creative idea. Up next, we have Pisces. Pisces, you have the Two of Pentacles. This is going to be a no this go-round. So with the Two of Pentacles, this is having two choices, having to multitask, having to weigh options. So again, Pisces, that's a no. Up next, we have, oops, I can't see with my hairy mat here, Sagittarius. Let's see, Sagittarius. Your card is going to be a yes. You have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is a card of victory, award, recognition, good news, success. So definitely a yes there. Taurus, you're up next. Taurus, your card's going to be yes. We have the lover's card. This is a card of partnership, deep love. Um, it sometimes does mean that you have to make a choice, but it's also strength, um, indicator of strength of two together. Scorpio, let's take a look here. Scorpio, you have the death card. This is going to be a no. The death card doesn't mean death, but it does indicate big changes, endings, time to move on, rebirth, transformation. Again, that's coming through as a no. Leo, you're up next. Your card is the tower card, Leo. This is going to be a no. The tower card is an unwanted change, ruin, disgrace, upheaval, violence. Again, Leo, that's no for you. Capricorn. You have the Page of Swords. This is also going to be a no. The Page of Swords is very curious. It's a card of gossip, spies, prying eyes, truth. It's that water cooler talk I usually tell people to avoid. So again, that's no for you, Capricorn. Let's see here. Aquarius, you're up next. Um, you have the Hermit card. This is coming through as a no today. The Hermit is about going within for clarity. It's about being on a quest for personal truth, spiritual illumination. But again, it's coming through as a no for you this go round. And last but not least, Virgo. Let's take a look here. Virgo, you have the Eight of Cups. This is going to be a no. The Eight of Cups is a card of withdrawing, retreating, moving on. It's a card of abandonment. But thank you all for tuning in, watching, and listening. I hope that this quick guidance was valuable for you. Again, please do like, comment, subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, that helps me so very much, and you'll be notified when I post these videos. Do post these once a week. Also, if you feel inclined, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But I hope that all of you have a fabulous week, and I do hope this was valuable guidance. Thank you.